The Young and the Restless. Spoilers. The Alliance Breaks. Jordan and Ian Turn Against Each Other. Genoa City's villains, Jordan Blackwood and Ian Ward, were a force to be reckoned with, a toxic alliance driven by vengeance, manipulation, and chaos. But in a shocking twist, Jordan has decided to sever ties with Ian, turning what was once a formidable partnership into a bitter rivalry. Their alliance, which brought fear and destruction to the lives of Sharon Newman, Phyllis Summers, and Victor Newman, has now imploded, leaving both parties at odds and increasing the danger for everyone in their orbit. Jordan's Breaking Point – A Desire for Freedom Jordan's decision to walk away from Ian is a culmination of her deeply rooted desire for independence. Known for her cunning and resourcefulness, Jordan has always thrived as a self-made disruptor. While she owed her freedom to Ian, having been broken out of prison under his command, the strings attached to that deal have grown too heavy for her to bear. For Jordan, the Alliance has served its purpose. Together, they killed Heather, sowed chaos between Sharon and Phyllis, and rattled the foundations of Genoa City. But now, Jordan wants to take control of her own destiny. She refuses to be a pawn in Ian's larger schemes, rejecting the notion of serving anyone's agenda but her own. In a heated confrontation, Jordan makes her stance clear. I've done everything you asked, Ian, she says, her voice cold and resolute, but I'm done being your puppet. From now on, I work alone. Ian's fury, a threat of betrayal. Ian, however, does not take kindly to Jordan's defiance. For a man accustomed to manipulating others to do his bidding, Jordan's rebellion is a personal affront. His temper flares and he makes no effort to hide his anger. You think you can walk away from me? Ian shouts, I made you who you are. Without me, you'd still be rotting in that cell. The rift between them grows deeper as Ian vows revenge. He threatens to kill Jordan if she betrays him, a chilling reminder of his capacity for violence. Cross me, Jordan, he warns, and you won't live to regret it. Despite his threats, Ian's anger stems not only from her rejection, but also from the realization that he is losing control over someone he once considered a vital asset. Without Jordan's cunning and support, Ian's plans to dominate Genoa City grow weaker, leaving him vulnerable to retaliation from his enemies. The fallout, a city on edge. The dissolution of the Alliance sends shockwaves through Genoa City. While the pairing of Ian and Jordan was a source of terror, their split introduces a new level of unpredictability. Both are dangerous in their own right, and their mutual hatred has the potential to escalate into a full-blown war that could engulf everyone around them. Increased danger for Genoa City's residents. With Ian and Jordan at odds, their focus shifts from destroying others to destroying each other. However, their vendetta against one another doesn't erase the threats they pose to Genoa City's residents. Victor Newman. Victor, still recovering from Ian and Jordan's earlier schemes, finds himself in the crossfire once again. Ian's renewed rage and Jordan's unpredictable nature make Victor a prime target for their lingering animosity. Phyllis Summers and Sharon Newman. Having been manipulated into turning against each other, Phyllis and Sharon remain vulnerable. With Jordan and Ian now working independently, both women are at risk of being used as pawns in their escalating conflict. Kyle Abbott and Claire. Jordan's history of targeting families places Kyle, Claire, and young Harrison in immediate danger. With her newfound independence, Jordan may see them as a means to assert her dominance. Jordan's next move. A calculated gamble. Jordan's decision to go solo is a bold but risky move. She knows that Ian will not take her betrayal lightly, and she prepares for the inevitable fallout. While she thrives on chaos, Jordan is also a master strategist, capable of staying one step ahead of her enemies. She begins laying the groundwork for her next phase, determined to solidify her position as a force to be reckoned with. Jordan's motivation, a taste for power. For Jordan, breaking away from Ian is not just about freedom, it's about power. She has tasted the influence she wielded during their alliance and craves more. By working alone, she can create her own legacy, free from the constraints of Ian's plans. But this newfound ambition also puts her on a collision course with some of Genoa City's most formidable players, ensuring that her rise to power will not go unchallenged. Ian's Revenge A dangerous loose cannon, Ian's fury over Jordan's betrayal drives him to the brink. Once a calculated manipulator, Ian now becomes a dangerous loose cannon, 
willing to destroy anyone who stands in his way. His threats against Jordan escalate, and he begins to plot her downfall with the same intensity he once directed at his enemies. Ian's Strategy Divide and Conquer Ian's approach to revenge is as ruthless as ever. He aims to exploit Jordan's weaknesses, turning her allies against her and isolating her from any potential support. Simultaneously, he redoubles his efforts to dismantle Victor Newman's empire, using the chaos of his conflict with Jordan as a smokescreen for his larger ambitions. The battle lines are drawn. As Jordan and Ian go their separate ways, the stage is set for a dramatic showdown. Their split marks the beginning of a power struggle that threatens to engulf Genoa City in chaos. With both parties seeking to outmaneuver the other, the lines between ally and enemy blur, creating a volatile environment where no one is safe.